Some Saturday Espresso Coffee Maker EM3208, 1350 watts. Open it up, show you what it's got inside. An instruction manual, nicely packed machine, a measuring for the espresso for one cup. What we have here is number one, known as the coffee spoon. We have a single cup coffee filler, a double cup coffee filler, and that is what we're going to be using. The filler holder, which is over here. The drip tray cover and the drip tray to capture all the liquids. Just for your information, there is a little notch on the back and it goes to the back at a six o'clock position where it's pointing to right over here. And that will release the single cup and the double shot holder. We have here is for the milk frother that will go on the side over here to make milk separately. And we have on the machine, which is very important for you to understand that in the back of the unit, when you take everything out, there is a plug. Please remove it. If you don't remove it, you're going to be sitting here all day long figuring out how your machine is not working correctly. There is a minimum and a maximum line and we're going to be filling that up as well as our chef is making a double shot we're going to get ready to show you how it's done hold the machine because it may be a little slippery at times there are rubber legs but sometimes if you use too much force it'll move the machine so as we place two espresso cups underneath because they will come out from the left and right side we're going to add in the water in the back We're going to turn the machine on because there's a standby of a certain amount of degrees in Fahrenheit or Celsius, 198 degrees Fahrenheit. Reading the instructions is going to tell you how to make an espresso and how to use the machine. It's going to take a couple of minutes. A single cup of espresso. Press the start button extracting the coffee after preheating and so forth. You can read the information found online and see how the machine will work. We're going to use a double which will be this button here. As the machine is counting, you can hear it going with the water, pumping up, and making the espresso with the left and right side. It is over 30 seconds. The machine says it's ready. And if you want milk as a frother, you can add the milk in. As we place in the milk underneath the frother, when we're going to froth, we're going to hit this button over here. It's going to warm up to 266 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we're going to go to the knob over here. And then you're going to froth the milk. Uh, and the back. Is if you show a code, you're going to have to look into the manual, figure out what the code is about. As the milk is frothing, A shot of espresso and a second shot is made and that is how the espresso maker will work. When all completed you shut down the espresso maker until another day. It is recommended that you clean the espresso maker at the very first time of use. The espresso... What? That has to be. When you're all clean and after the use of the first and second shot of espresso, we clean out the nozzle by turning it just a little bit and wiping things down. The machine gets shut off and it drips down just a little bit. And when all completed, you take out the tray and whatever remnants is inside. Goes up. That means there's a 
time to empty out the tray. So 120 volts, 60 hertz, 1350 watt, 1 1.8 liter machine. It makes an excellent cup of espresso for your needs. In the morning, afternoon, or evening, or entertaining guests, this machine is very easy to use, but a little complicated for some until you first get used to it. Once you get used to how to use an espresso machine, it becomes very easy to make that espresso, a shot of espresso. I hope you enjoy your product, if this is right for you.